Now to pandemic career pivots. Rebecca Jarvis joins with some people who found recent success using their unprecedented time to make major changes to the work lives. Interested in this. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning. It's nice to see you, Robin. And as we know, this can be a difficult time for jobs, certainly, but it can also be an opportunity where you can work from home, take advantage of new technology, and tap into your internal strengths to make money. When Julie DeLong left her job as a professor in Texas to be closer to family in Illinois, finding a new gig wasn't easy. And I probably applied for over 100 jobs <laughs> and just really nothing was taking off. So Julie decided to pivot. I thought, well, you know, I know how to tutor and a lot of parents are going to want help right now. She created her business, The Traveling Tutor, and started using Facebook to build a clientele. And now what began as a way to make extra income has become so much more. As it picked up, I thought this is something I really do want to do as my actual career. Even if you think you lack the education to be a tutor, consider what customer service representative Caitlin Kazi did. She completed an online training to become a certified ESL teacher through TeachAway, a company that will also help to find her teaching and tutoring jobs remotely. It's a great way to supplement my income right now. Like I think everyone has seen some sort of effect from COVID and you know, like I'm just trying to help my family and stuff. And Julie and Caitlin aren't alone. More than 2 million Americans have started freelancing in the last year, and people are launching businesses at the fastest rate in more than a decade, with business applications up more than 25% compared to this time last year. Like Nicholas Bryan, a chef in Tampa, Florida, who was laid off last March and started a meal delivery service called Pasta Packs with his brother, Greg. It was laid off on a Friday and that Monday we hit the ground running. Now, nearly a year later, the company is thriving, expanding beyond the Tampa area. To have this type of success in a situation like this it makes you think and feel like really, really special and like really lucky that, you know, we were able to to somehow use this, the pressure of this situation to go in a positive direction. But people aren't just using their current skill set in new ways. Jenna Pustiglione works in commercial real estate, but learned to sew and embroider during the pandemic. I didn't really have uh, the job security in an industry that's rapidly changing because of COVID-19. She created her Etsy shop, Son of a Stitch, in September, where she makes custom embroidered designs. In less than a few months, I'm already at almost 300 sales. And with sites like Upworks and Fiverr, you can ultimately find these career opportunities, these freelance opportunities in everything from tutoring to cooking to fitness instruction. And keep in mind consistency as you're getting started. Consistency here is key. There can be some upfront startup costs. So keep in mind that you want to make sure that you'll ultimately be able to make that money back. And you can use those sites to make sure that on an hourly basis you're getting paid enough to make it worth your while, Robin. Always good insight, Rebecca. Thank you. And I just really appreciate the creativity of people during this time. Thank you, Rebecca. Yes.